Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, thanks for stopping by. Um, sorry, I've been MIA, just, you know, trying to homeschool five kids. Um, so we recently had a change in our uh, ninth graders curriculum. We dropped the AP class she was taking, and um, I wasn't really sure what to do, but it was in European history, and basically... She just wasn't really able to learn from the format. It was asynchronous and the lectures were really short and the reading wasn't assigned. So um, I decided to go ahead and switch over to a Memoria Press option, of course. And I'm just gonna check that there's no um, shipping slip in this box. Okay, so um, I switched to what seemed to be the most similar, which is a History of Europe in the Modern World, and there's two books. So this is the first one, and I'm really surprised this was so expensive. Um, <laughs> I thought it was going to be like a big textbook, um, so I'll definitely have to be reselling that one. Um, so basically, I think there's going to be a lot of in common with some of the stuff that she did, um, and I don't know if we're going to take the AP exam or what we're going to do, um, but basically... I felt it was more important for her to actually learn the content and, um, you know, whether she's able to get AP credit or not, I don't really care because what's the point in taking a class if you're not even, you know, going to test well because you don't even understand what's happening. Um, so I went with the Memoria Press because it is very structured and my daughter likes having a structured um, schedule to follow and, you know, has the assignments written out. This is the teacher manual. So the way that we do it is she does her assignments and then either I check them or she checks them or we um, alternate. And that's how we make sure that she's actually understanding what's going on. Um, I don't really care about grades. I think that they're arbitrary. However, if you're not understanding something, you know, there's a problem. So here's the student guide and this is what she'll work out of each day. And um, I'm going to insert here a... Um, screenshot of the, what's it called, um, lesson plans so that you guys can see um, every level and every subject in Memoria Press, I'm pretty sure, um, comes with lesson plans. And so it will tell you what to do on each day and it breaks it up for you. Um, and that's why this really works for us. So this is the student guide and you can see it says volumes one and two. So, like I said, there's this textbook, which is volume one, which is to 1815, and then there's a volume two. So, um, they have, the lesson plan I got condenses it into one year. I'm not sure if we're going to do that or if we'll just take our time. Um, I'm not sure if they have it in a two-year plan. I was trying to quickly find something, so I didn't do, um, you know, extensive diligence. So, this is... Uh, how the student guides go. Basically, you read whatever section and then you complete um, key terms and you complete, um, you know, a summary of the chapter. Uh, you focus on these questions and then there's key figures and key dates. Hopefully, you could see that. Key structures and then there's comprehension questions and this is all just for the first chapter extensive amount so you could see why it would be helpful to have something tell you how to break it up and then there's a short answer question short essay and then there's also a map activity so you know really in-depth dense um what's the word i'm looking for uh approach and you know very heavy on content very appropriate for high schooler um, this is for my ninth grader, but she's turning 15. So I would consider her, you know, um, a little bit more intellectually capable than maybe if you had a 13 year old freshman or what have you. Um, and so I, I got caught off guard when I saw this because, um, analyzing the Pieta was one of her assignments in the AP class. So I'm glad to see that there's overlap. So anyway, this is the change that we're making for a ninth grader for history. Um, and I'm really excited about it. I don't know if we're going to do it for a full year. She has been thinking about taking a community college class in the spring um, in history, but that seems very dense to me as compared with, I don't know, a literature class or something. Um, so we'll see about that, but um, really excited about this, and I'll let you guys know how it goes. Also, um, if you 
have followed me for my Ambleside and CMEC videos. I am planning on doing one um, with the kids where they discuss um, what they like about the different books and how they feel about doing it after completing one term. Uh, I just don't know when that's going to happen because it's kind of hard to get them one-on-one -on -one and have quiet in the background. Um, but do keep an eye out for that. If you're subscribed, I think it notifies you or something or you hit some bell. But um, otherwise, just check back, hopefully within the next couple of weeks or so. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and I hope you're having a great day. And if you feel like subscribing, that'd be great. Thanks. Bye.